Alrighty, let's keep going here with uh, with this layout. We are working on our top nav bar here. A couple things we want to fix is I've got this last um, vertical pipe here um, after my last link. Um, and if this is the, the actually the last link that's going to ever be up here, I want to take care of that vertical bar. So that um, vertical bar there is actually the right hand border of the list item. So I'm going to create a class um, and apply the class and, and write, a, write a class that has takes off the right hand border and apply that class just to the last link. Okay, so um, let's get Dreamweaver to help us name this correctly. So I'm going to click on that last one, come down and select the list item, and click a new style there. Okay, so it comes up like I'm going to uh, write a rule for the list item that's inside of my top nav. The way I make it a class is I just add a, uh, a unique name to this, so, and I have to use a dot in front of it. So I'm just going to, right there where it says list item, I'm going to use dot. I'll just name this last. So in effect, this is creating a, a, a class. It's not going to change anything until I apply it um, to the to the list item that I want it to act on. So I'm going to click OK and come right to border, uncheck the style, and on the right hand one, we'll just say I want none. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so now I've got a class, um, and I just need to apply that to this last list item. So if later I add more links here, I would need to remove this class off if I put links on the other side of it and uh, the, the border would show up and then apply this class to whatever link was the end one or the furthest right hand one. Okay, so I have that list item selected. Any classes that I create will show up here on the properties bar. You can see there's the name of the one I created. Okay, when I select that, you can see it takes off that right hand border. Okay, so um, if you've if you're watching this tutorial and you've never seen a technique like that, this is a, the a part where you probably want to pause and uh, watch it again or follow along. Um, we're creating quite a list of styles over here along this right in the, in our style panel on our style sheet, um, and it's getting they're not none of them are very complicated. We're just getting a pretty big list here. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, if I were to preview this in the browser. Um, save all the changes, yep, save everything, and I pull this over. You may notice that um, when I, where I've put these background colors in, like for my top nav or for my left and my right column, that background color is actually hiding the border that's that's underneath it that I, that I actually want to have showing. Um, so I'm going to take care of that in this top nav first. So i got to come over here find the style, just the plain top nav. Remember, I made that a width of 950, so if I just change that width to 948, it makes that just a pixel um, shorter on each side. Okay. Um, now that, um, you know, I just thought of something that creates a little bit of a problem, because actually when I reduce that by two pixels, it it only changes the size of it on the right hand side. So if I really wanted to um, I, I, to have that be accurate, I would need to come in and tell that thing to center um, left and right because it's a little bit shorter. And when I do that, not center, but just have auto left and right mar margins, that's the way to center it. Okay, so remember this um, top nav is inside this region called content. Um, and uh, so, uh, whoopsie daisy, sorry. Um, so this content region is 950, and if I make the top nav a little narrower, which I made it 948, the default is for the, the, the extra space just to come off that right hand side. So it's two pixels shorter on the right hand side. Um, but I really want it to the border to show up on either side so I can just m make it center by doing left and right there. So another option here if this is confusing, confusing um, I can just put all this stuff back to where it was. Okay, and then under border here, I can turn on a left and right border that will show up and just replicate the border that's coming from the graphic. So if I do that, I'll get, I think, about the same effect. Um, 
actually, you know, I would prefer not to do it this way. Okay, I'm going to do it the way that we did it first here. So I'm going to make this 948 and set the margin. Okay, now let's preview that in the browser and it'll ask me to save here a couple of times. That's good. Um, now when you see that edge right there, you can see that, um, if you can zoom in on it, okay, so that edge that's right there um, is the edge that black line is coming from the graphic, which is what I want. So if I decide to change an edge effect, it's coming from the graphic. That's why I prefer to do it that way. Um, okay. Let me just zoom back out here. All right, let's go back to Dreamweaver. And um, yeah, that is what I want to have happen. Okay. So the other thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take out the background color of each of these other region so left column I don't have to open back up I can just select it here and click the trash can center column select it hit the trash can and right column select the background and hit the trash can okay so there is my th three column layout um, as I start to put in content here let's say I put in start putting in some paragraphs so I'll just put in say three paragraphs here in the center Everything looks fine. It expands. I want to test it out a little bit. Um, I'd want to. I can put content in both of these um, left and the right columns. They'll expand. Um, and without the background color in there, you can't tell that the columns actually are not the same height. Um, the downside of this is, let me just preview it here in the browser for you, is that there's not really any type of graphical representation or visual representation that there are three columns here. Um, so we might want to create um, some sort of dividers uh, down this at, at each of these spots here. Um, and if we want it to be uniform and not have to ever worry about it again, uh, I'm going to do that in, on the gr in the graphics in Fireworks. So I'm going to change the, this middle image and uh, have it show up. And it gives us lots of, lots of, lots of um, options here. So in the next tutorial, we'll do that.